Welcome back to another edition of the Burnout with yours truly, Tony. And Chris. And I'm gonna let Chris have the floor. Chris got the floor for right now. You know, uh, this racial reading, uh, it is often the small steps, not the giant leaps, that bring about the most lasting change. Speaks for itself. It speaks for itself. I mean, sometimes it's the it's not the big things you do. The small things, they always say it's the small things that makes the biggest impact. Yes, sir. And a lot of times that's and that holds true. And you just think you can leap over something yep. and you can miss something that you needed to learn that's along right. the way. Well you got an interesting story that I bet you a lot of people didn't know about because I didn't know about it. Yes, sir, it says that uh Dolly Parton secretly played paid for Back uh, band uniform at black school for years. As if we needed another reason to love Dolly Parton and her acts of kindness report sprinkle news sites and social media of the country music singer and songwriter's generosity. <clears throat> Dolly grew up in a large, closed, and poor family in rural Tennessee. They spent many hours singing and playing music together, whether at home or at church or uh, Dolly Parton began singing professionally at the age of 10 and performed in the Grand Ole Opry at 13. Her, her career skyrocketed when she worked with, poor, with Porter Wagner on his uh, namesake show. More than 50 record albums later, Dolly Parton is said to be a country music legend. But Dolly doesn't let her stardom or wealth go to her head. Instead, she turns blessing others with what she, what she had. In support of the arts, Dolly Parton sponsors band uniform for black students. In a tweet, Michael Harriet shares yet another way Dolly Parton has used her incredible wealth to selfish, uh, selfishly help others. Michael shared that here is, here is a quiet, wonderful thing I noticed if you talk to someone who was in a choir or a band majority black high schools, you eventually discuss the annoying fundraiser for uniforms, instruments, etc., and surprising number uh, will casually say. It says, uh, with nearly 1,000 reactions and hundreds of replies, the public has shared their opinion about the country star's contribution. Years ago, my grandma, my grandma was in her first class next to Dolly. Dolly. People kept coming over and to say hello, so eventually grandma somewhat snobbishly asked a greeting, all those Things annoyed her. Dolly just said, Those people are why I'm in first class. That stuck with my grandma. And 30, 30 plus years ago, I was in high school marching band in East Tennessee. One year, uh, we played Sevier uh, County High School. And dang, that band was equipped uniforms, instruments, flags, everything, mountain area, much uh, poverty paid for by Dolly Parton. That woman is a national treasure. Dolly is a uh, is a saint in this house. When your youngest had speech problems and stopped talking, Dolly was sending her reading books. It was the highlight of her little life back when being and she loved the beautiful woman's picture of on the uh, back of the book. Dolly is the best. I went to college near her hometown and her uh, philanthropy is no joke. One time she was guest hosting Regis uh, Philippin on live, and they called off school, uh, off school so kids could watch it too. Dolly is where people should be. She's famous, has fun in the expense of her city, uh, of her critics. She spends her money to help people. Her kindergarten book club is amazing. She built a theme park to employ her community. Wow. I didn't know anything about that. But, but she keeps everything so quiet that yeah, that um, it's amazing that she's not boisterous. She doesn't advertise what she do. When you told me that, I'm like, Dolly, the country that's what the country said. Never would have never would a thousand a thousand years guess. And 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 and, and yeah, I hope they heard, I hope they paid attention to what you were saying. She donated these uniforms to black the black man, mm -hmm. and not just once. She's been doing it. been doing it for years. The article the article uh, she's been doing it for over ten years, mm. and 
I'm, I'm like you, uh, you know, I, I see, you know, Dolly Part, even like some of Dolly's songs. I listen to them, you know, every now and then. Yeah, like that little vibe of Dolly Part, and this is her song. Uh, even when she was in the movie with Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers, I like that one. I was, you know, uh, I was in the street. Uh, yeah. like, I love that song. You know, you got to learn when the, when the hole, when the boat. You got to hold it down. You know, and uh, not in a million years, just watching Dolly think that, you know, her heart, you know, would be that kind to uh, another nationality. You, you, you hear for years that people are help their own. Yeah. You know, and you don't, uh, and, and it may be a lot more stars uh, that's doing this as well. The one, the one thing we can say with her, and I can say this with, um, you was one of Joe Madison, without fear of contradiction, she, has she does not see color. She has critics. Really? Yeah, she has critics that criticize what she does, that she got all this money and she want to help poor people. But she's okay. still doing it. That's the one thing she don't pay. She's not falling into that. Uh, you know what? Trap. Let me give you. Uh, uh, I was doing something earlier, and let's give. Uh, they say this is the criteria for how they look at you in wealth in society, society today. If you make under thirty-two thousand dollars, you're considered poor. Mm -hmm. If you make under a hundred thousand dollars to thirty-two thousand dollars. You consider it in between, mm -hmm. and it just keep going up. Yeah, you know, and just viewing thirty two thousand dollars. Who who can live off thirty two thousand dollars a year? Not now, no bad. You can't. It was hard to live ever back then. Yeah, but you know, but so she said she grew up poor in the outside. You know, uh, a little town in Tennessee, mm. and she want to give back. She even. Did things to employ her community. You know, the one thing I can take from what she said and what you read is when she is that she grew up, but never forgot where yes, she sir. came from. Yes, See, a lot of people get money and kind of forget where they came from. Like they, it's just like some preachers. They preach like they never sinned before. Mm -hmm. They preach like they were born sanctified. Yes, sir. She never forgot how it feels to not to have. Yes. And she gives back. And, you know, and, and anybody who criticizes her, she, they, they something wrong with them. Something. I'm just going to say something wrong you with always them. Got, you always got one. Always. At least, you know. And then they just multiply it by whatever number they, you know. Are, are they jealous? And here's, and I mean, even with uh, Drake, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he did the... Uh, uh, the video. Video he gave nine hundred ninety nine thousand. Uh, uh, God, 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 plan. God, plan. He, gave, he gave. Yeah, he did. You know, uh, even you know he would see people sitting on the bench and give you know, money, them money, or he would give them shopping. Give, you know, he was doing a lot of wonderful things. Yeah. And he did a video, which uh, you know, not taking nothing away from Trey. Yeah. You know, but just showing that he did it publicly. And Dolly did it and, behind the closed doors. And she basically. did it in closed doors. Been, been doing this for years. And uh, you know, it, you know, whether what God you choose, believe, whatever people choose, you on them. But my God tells me, He said that if you, whatever you do it secretly, it will come. I will reward you publicly, openly, openly. Yep. You he know, said that, and, huh? and she has been a blessing to so many people. It is amazing that when you give back, you can you kind of feel a sense of uh, worth, worth, worth being, worth a well being. Yes. Sir. But the one thing I got out of that whole thing is throughout all her critics, she never stopped. She never stopped because she knows how it feels to come up poor and not have. Go to bed. Kids go to bed at home. Oh. Or. Your, uh, our kids going to school being picked at because you don't have a certain brand of shoes or, you know, uh, your clothes, you know, she felt that. For her to be a country singer, I'm just going to be honest with you. I would have never guessed she did anything. I'm just going to be honest. She was the last person I was thinking. If you'd have said Molly Cyrus, if you'd have said, um, Molly Cyrus. 
What is the name? That, that's her, baby. What do they call her another name? Uh, they got two names. Because she tried to twerk on TV one time. And so that's got a uh, <laughs> singer got kicked out of the house, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the one that football player that's uh, supposed to be dating, uh, that's, uh, I can't think of her name. Somebody's outspoken. Mm -hmm. This woman is quiet. She stays out of the public eye. You don't never hear anything about her, but she secretly does all this stuff. And, and here's the, that she was at a music class and people was coming up speaking to her mm. and said that one, said that a grandma, uh, somebody's grandma said, you know, ask her to do that event. And she said, no. She said, it's because of them I can do this. Mm. And just to go in depth, what you said, it says, more people should hear about her Imagination Library program, which provides monthly books for kids up until their fifth birthday. Every month for five years until the, uh, all these kids get up to five, she still, every month, provide a library where you get these books. Who's doing this? Who's doing that now? You, and, you know, and, and if there are other celebrities you know, uh, you know, I like, you know, I like good music, celebrities, and all that thing, but I, I, you know, I don't go wild about it, you know, or, you know, uh, like good music and everything, but for Dolly, yeah, I think, yeah, she's doing something great, something wonderful, and to me, she really, she, she has to have a passion in her heart to do this. This goes beyond this, I'm doing a tax write-off, or That's right. this goes beyond that. Yeah. You know, I look at it, and she uses her name, not for her own benefit, mm -hmm. to help others. It says, Dolly Parton raised funds to help with fire relief and for victims of the East Tennessee fire in 2016. She used her name and recognition to help spread the word, and her foundation gave generously. She didn't, all this is self, selflessness. And she used her name to bring in more. That's it. How many? How many people do that? They'll do it, but uh, you're going to. There's something coming out of something in though. We're gonna shave a little bit off the top. Of, of course, you're gonna shave a lot off something. <laughs> it's good to find somebody, you know, uh, that does stuff. Like I mean, it, 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 to me, it, it, it kind of mild bothers me, but just like we have all these uh, rich celebrities, mm. have plenty of money, have billion paid. Ooh, six million for a house. The minimum. Uh, but we have so much world hunger. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not going to say world. But just right here in the United States, you have so many people that are hungry, homeless, clothesless, mm -hmm. sheltered, and, uh, you know, some, and, and, and a lot of them just money. I mean, it's your money to do what you want to do, but it blows. Do the Dolly Parton's donation strategy is to give, just give from my heart. That's her strategy. Yeah. Now, and look, look what it says now. It says it is a strategy. Yep. Hmm. I don't know how you can knock that. You, 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 you're a sick person. My heart, in, in general, but you know, even though I like, like we said from the start, we you never looked at. Darling, that she'll be the one doing this, but mm. you, even when you watch her in the movies or you know, in certain things, she looked like she has a generous and kind, pure heart. Mm -hmm. But she, the one thing I like about her, and I've, I've, I've been knowing her for years and years, she never does anything for her benefit. Yeah. Everything is for somebody else, it's something else she's doing. Most people, well, I'm gonna come out there for recognition. I'm gonna come out there. Uh, I'm gonna come do your show, but it's seventy-five thousand dollars. Yeah, Rick Ross said that. He said he'd do a show, but he's gonna charge you seventy-five thousand dollars to do it. This woman said, "I come do it. I just raise money. I'm not gonna charge anything." I said, "You would. You just use my name. Just use my name, and we'll go from there." And that's the and and I'm gonna say something that's gonna be controversial, controversial, but I'm gonna say it. Everybody that you color ain't your kind. I, I agree, you know, 
They say a lot of people like crabs. Put them in a the body, they go and, and, and they get hot. <laughs> put them each other back down. Uh, that's exactly what they do. So, but, uh, right. but it's just to the point, point that we can never do anything for somebody else without wanting something in return. Yeah. It's always something. Well, uh, what, what and, and what is the famous word? What are we gonna get out of it? We. What what am I gonna get out of it? Now, now, you, yeah, they, 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 you gotta what, what am I gonna you know, because each individual gonna make sure they got something that they can get. I like people, you got NBA player million dollars, NFL player million dollars, baseball player million dollars, and they a lot of them do a lot of foundations. Yeah, I I can I, agree. I'll take that off to them. But if you didn't get the recognition what you do it. And, and and not only that, it's not about necessarily working it, but a lot of these foundations, you know, I don't get rid of some of this money that coming in, it's going somewhere else anyway. Mm -hmm. So a lot of it is that You're doing for tax reports. Yeah, you can uh, you know, we we all your tax relief the different mm -hmm. things that you're using it for, but you know I don't have no problem because it's your money. It's your, true. You can do what you want to with. But at least put it to some good use. You know, how many cars do you need? How many houses do you need? You can't live in but one at a time. So I'm going to buy a $3 million house here, a $6 million house here. I'm going to tell you what I, I, I listened to a guy, and he was saying, you know, everybody got this imagination. Mm -hmm. I want to live in a big mansion. I want this expensive car. A friend of mine told me years ago before he passed away, he said, when you die, is they going to put that deed in your casket? Is that title going with you? I ain't never seen nobody take a car with him yet. The title and the deed go with you. But the car is... <laughs> the car going to stay with somebody you. Still, somebody here still going to enjoy that, whatever, because guess what? They still going to have... Now, they, they, we still going to have the key. That's it. So, um, all of them people who got this fast this fascination with materialistic items. Mm -hmm. They better listen to what the Bible says. See, everybody thinks that your idol is the golden calf and all yeah. that stuff. Your idol, your, your car can be an idol. Mm -hmm. Your house can be an idol. You know, I hate when people talk out of both sides of their mouth. Well, I ain't materialistic. But every time I talk to you, you talking about materialistic stuff. Mm -hmm. So you can't have it both ways now. You, you know, uh, that's like... Uh, Book of Revelation when it speaks about the seven churches and it says, yeah. that, you know, uh, that that one church you you Luke one. Yeah. He said that uh, because you say that you are rich and you are in need of nothing. Hmm. So you're rich and you feel like you're in need of nothing that you can't you you need some compassion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You you need a a a, a good heart. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and as you know, uh, it's, it, it says that it's easier for a camel to walk through the aisle of a needle than a rich than man, a rich man in heaven. heaven because he's the selfish. But what did he say? It says it is easier. He didn't say it was impossible, though. Easier for the camel. It's easier for the camel to go through the aisle of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. He said, it, it didn't say he couldn't enter. He couldn't enter. It just said it would be easier because he's going to cherish those material items. So much higher, and that's they and 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 what he say? He said that you don't put nothing before me. Mm -hmm. Well, if I idolize the car, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, before him. So yeah. the whole point of the story is they want these ten million dollar houses, they want these million dollar cars. The man said, he said that sounds good, but he said, do you know how much it costs to upkeep this stuff? Yes, sir. He said he. Uh, you see him? Oof. He got the hammer. He, he got the hammer because they, they, <laughs> the they, they, they knocked all the pesos out of the house. <laughs> but see, that's what people need to be understanding. You weren't about a million dollar house. Mm -hmm. This other man lives in a shack, but he's way happier than you are. That's right. And they're like, I'm like, why would that be? Because he's content and he's content with what he's got. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need all that other stuff. Yeah, he's stressed about how long he's going to keep it. Joy does not come from materialistic items. No, sir. Joy comes from within. And the person who gives you the joy 
Yes, sir. But see, when you take joy in your house, you take joy in your car, you saying, oh, I'm not going to worry about you right now. Mm -hmm. I got this right here. A lot of NFL players have lost that right there. That's right. And then, after you funny, now this is sad. This is so sad. You can get more sympathy from a homeless person. Yes, sir. Then you get from somebody who's sitting there working. And, and uh, it can it can help you. Can help you, but won't. That's but that's that's embarrassing. And, and like I said, with with with, with Dolly, mm -hmm. I mean, you just really and, and I can I can just imagine her heart is full of joy for what she's doing. Beyond beyond measure. Yeah. You know, and everybody, uh, you know, we have our own opinion. Like the uh, writer said, that she was a saint. And I, and I can understand him saying that in his eye because he sees what she's doing. Yeah. And, it, you know, uh, it's supposed about her being in church. And, you know, as one said that you, if you, uh, if you see my works, you'll see my faith. That's it. That's it. Say that one more time. Man. If you see my works, you'll see my faith. I don't have to prove to who I am or try to do something to entice you to who I am. But just let me do what I do. That's it. And she's, what she's doing is from her heart. And it's not only just, uh, you know, in, 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 it isn't uh, a lot of black schools, but it's not only just black school. She's helping people. That's, that's she the key word. She's a yeah. whole community. That's it. Uh, built something to give them jobs. Yeah. She's giving back. Even, and, and the sad part about it is, even though she, it says that she grew up poor, she, can, she, she haven't forgot that, guess what? It's still people here that is going or went through the same thing. So let me reach back and grab them. Yeah. Let me help them. You let know, me pick them up. The one thing I like about her, she never lost her values. Yeah. Because sometimes you can get up so high, you don't, well, that person is, you don't seen them in church. Yes. Yeah. They come with their nose stuck up, hallelujah. And then when you come in, I might have some, I might not have the clothes you got on. I want you. Because he's standing, he said, come as you are, come saying the center of life. And, 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 and guess what? I feel just as proud. Yeah. Because you go there to get something. And you don't go there for a fashion show. That's right. But see, some, when they see you coming there with some pants on, mm -hmm. look at him. Well, God ain't going to judge me based on what I got on. Jeans and t-shirt. That's all it is. Because some of the ones with suits are the biggest devil sitting up there. And, and you know what? And I actually, we're... we're Every Sunday I wore a suit, mm -hmm. uh, and I wore, you know, every Sunday I have a suit every Sunday. Mm -hmm. But when you learn, you do. That's it. You are, you understand that in order to serve, I don't have to have come in with this suit. That's right. That's but right. I just need to be who I am. Yeah. And uh, uh, Dolly Parton, I, I, I appreciate you. I salute you. Uh, absolutely. From being who you are, from your heart, from right. who you are, you you are showing your character. And like, once again, like we always say, is once a person shows you who you are, believe what they show you. Dolly Parton, I thank you for showing me who you are. Yeah, and, and, and some people like her, you want to give them recognition, yes, even when they don't want it. Give people their flowers while flowers. they're here, exactly. and they can smell them. That's what's disappointing about the people who have it, they want to keep it though. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, uh, it goes back to what we said a minute ago. Man, the rich man said, when I die, put my checkbook in the, told the wife, put my, my checkbook money. in the, my money. With me. She wrote a check out. She wrote a check. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, it's just like, uh, uh, well, you know, driving a truck, I met a man in, uh, I stopped at a, a, a rest area in New Jersey, mm -hmm. and I uh, come to find out the guy was uh, from Alabama mm -hmm. in New Jersey. He lived in New Jersey. Now we talk, and how we end up having a conversation is, I was at the get some coffee, and he walked up there. And he said, "Man, excuse me." I looked around. And I said, "Brother, I appreciate that." I said, "Man, you don't even hear that words no more." Oh yeah. You you, know. you don't even hear the word excuse me. So oh, you know that encourage hey you keep that politeness. Let me give you this flower because you did so that's it. Give people their flowers when they're doing good while they're that's here it. so they can smell it. So Pop Dolly, I hope you get all the flowers. She get them all because she deserves them because we need more. Now this is what we talk about. 
Give me a story like give this. Give me a I story. I love talking about. I don't want to talk about what them racist yeah, police are uh, Whatever they is, the uh, uh, goon squad. The goon squad over there. Yeah, I want to talk about them. Give yeah, us this. something positive that we can share in, in life. Because guess what? I didn't know. So how many people didn't know? I know. I had, no clue. Doing this? I had no clue. And this for the people that uh, say we talk about the police all the time. Quit doing stuff. And I have nothing to talk about. And you know, and I'm gonna throw this shit out. Now that y'all know what Dolly's partner is doing and, and what she does when uh with her royalties and everything, go out and buy something whether you like her. Go out and support her. That's right. Because she's able to keep on doing what she's doing. That's right. That's a good idea. Go and support her. Um support those who are doing something positive. Quit supporting the people who's doing something negative. I wanna go buy a hundred machine gun. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> call, call me little drip now. Don't call me by my name. But just... And then they, these are the people they idolize. That, that's the whole time. You, so somebody who's doing something positive, it's just like on Facebook. It's just like on YouTube. When uh, one of these people do something positive, two reviews. Mm -hmm. Get a half naked woman on there. Well, you got a million. Oh, a million views off top. And I, you don't subscribe. <laughs> And you said subscribe, <laughs> which is true. Um, sometimes you want to, the, the, what we do is talk about what affects everybody. Everybody. In this community and this, what affects the average person. We ain't, well, you know, um, I don't like to talk about the police. No, but but they ha we have to be aware of what they're doing. And the sad part about it is we, the people, don't know this is going on. That's right. And if you don't know about something that's happening, how can you make a change? You can't Unless you know. You don't know. Now, we talked about, you know, uh, I, I even like watching uh, 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 what I think, Drinking Champs or Drunken Champ when they be sitting there talking. I watch him and he had celebrities on Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I watch him now. You know, he has some positive stuff and then he just, it, it's about, just, but we want to help the community, reach out, show you that these things are going on. Yeah. Any information that we can give to provide to help you. Yeah, yeah. Because, like I say, Dolly Parton, I didn't know it. Man. Until you, I don't know how you found that article, but I had I, no I, clue. I fell in love with Dolly. Oh, yeah, you got to in those circumstances. That's right, drop on a knee in front of her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, once again, we uncovered another episode of The Burnout. Hey, man, these, like I say, um, if we could avoid talking about what these stupid racist cops doing, we would do it. Unfortunately, every day they doing something else stupid. So we're going to and we're going to keep, as, as Joe Madison say, educating. Yes, sir. And educating ourselves at the same time. But hey, we'll be back next week, same time, same place. And remember, always flame up, but don't burn out. Two fingers, peace. <laughs>